What's happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah, I need some breakfast. I think you need more than breakfast. <laughs> I love doing my intros with Trevor. <laughs> I'm insane. I just binged a bunch of methamphetamines. <laughs> uh, he looks like uh, Walter from Breaking Bad in just his underwear. Maybe that's what we were doing. Maybe we were making meth in my secret meth laboratory here on the bridge. <laughs> uh, so anyway, last time, I'm not gonna summarize what happened because you guys are loyal viewers. You've seen the last video, right? You wouldn't miss a, an upload from your boy Beastie, would you? You wouldn't skip a video just based on the fact that the thumbnail was boring and the title was lacking? No, of course not. <laughs> sir, if you'd be so kind as to leave me alone, please. Uh, sir, if you don't mind, I'm gonna put my boot up your asshole, bitch boy. Yeah, you like that, Gramps? You like that, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna kick some go sense on, into man. you, oh. bitch. There we go. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, damn. Yo, back off, my man. Jesus. Okay, so, uh, yeah, last time things happened and, um, Oddly enough, Trevor was a police officer. Well, I guess more correctly, he wasn't a police officer. He was wearing a police officer's outfit and he did look very good. A, a, a far cry from what he is now, a mess in his underwear. And he probably smells like shit and he's wearing gloves, which is odd. Either way, uh, I think we have a couple jobs as Trevor that we can do. So let's go do those right now. Um, I also want to start doing more side missions, so maybe we'll do a few of those this episode. But, for now, we need to go talk to Devin. Yes, Devin. A very nice person indeed. In fact, everybody's nice in Los Santos. Very happy, humble, lovable people. If you like backstabbing pieces of shit, that is. Sorry about that. Oh, and I'm right in front of the police station. Oh, Devin. Oh, wait, wait, was he... Was he one of the corrupt FIB agents? I can't remember exactly who Devin is. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I'm walking into a police station in my underwear, smelling <laughs> like a meth lab. Oh! <laughs> what the hell was that? What were you doing? Was he snorting something out of the trash? Go to the police front desk. Hmm. Do I really want to do that? Oh, I'm sure they'll think I'm a legitimate business owner, an upstanding citizen. In fact, I am a proud supporter of all government funded projects. No one's gonna buy that, are they? Oh, this dude looks like he knows a good time. And by good time, of course, I mean shitting your pants out after drinking prison liquor. Hi, I'm not a meth head. And the reason I'm in my underwear is I'm actually a police officer in disguise as a meth head that just bitched. Me. Oh, oh, right. Uh... The helipad is on the roof. What's wrong with this dude's voice? Get to the helicopter. Yeah, I'm an undercover officer. Uh, I, as a matter of fact, I was doing a drug bust. What's happening here? Uh, oh wait, we have body armor here. Thank you. Okay, helicopter's on the roof. It's amazing no one's stopping me. I mean, I guess I look like I fit in with all the other Officers, right? <laughs> All right, let's go up to the roof. Authorized personnel only. If you guys need to uh, verify my identity, I have a badge in my underwear around the penis region. Feel free to check at any time. Roof access. Right along, jump in. Oh, of course. Let's let's do that. I don't even need a flight suit. I'm good as right is. Along. Sure, let's go. I'm actually in my underwear. Take and pick up those new ID cards, right? When it's on, just fly where I point. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA state license. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Fine. I got a pal on the ground we're gonna go see. So hey, you researching a movie or TV? You're a screenwriter, right? Mm, not exactly. An actor? Kinda smells like you're researching a role. <laughs> hey, buddy, look, I got a confession, okay? I'm not an actor, or a writer, or the son of a bigwig. I'm a criminal, and your boss has kinda sold you to me. Sold me? I'm afraid so. Like chattel. Huh? Now we got that clear, you need to know we're looking for a high-value automobile. Once we find it, my guy on the ground will jack it, and we're 
great. So, um, uh, and then? And then what's happening? And then? Ah, spoiler alert, kid. We kill the witness. Yikes. Wow, okay, you're Who confident. <laughs> oil, Derek? My man, I'll give him a scan. Out of range. Scanning. Oh, damn, this is awesome. Public There's Franklin. Exposure. What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I'll pick a brother up for any old shit. You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the house. Do we looking for us down that way. I'll follow in the car. Howard, <laughs> you heard the man. Wherever you want to go. Okay. Damn, this is awesome! See, that's what I don't you understand. Did my African American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me. Uh, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh, you want to bullshit me? You can bullshit <laughs> the freeway. We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your nice dick's got a minority quota. I should take. Look, please. We come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky I can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. Okay then. Well. <laughs> Go ahead, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan. All right. Chad Mulligan. Roger that. Okay. Are you Chad Mulligan? There's a huge sign in the way. This may be problematic. See, why couldn't we have something like this for the last huge heist? If the FIB have everything they need, I mean, come on, this should be given. But instead, I had to use a, 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 a trash truck. Two guys on a rooftop going at it. The lady downstairs in the bikini. Let's see if we can connect the dots. Wait, what? I don't see two. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. What do we got here? <laughs> They're doing it on the roof. That has to be uncomfortable. Oh, she's gonna fall off too. We gotta keep looking. Hey, uh, you two be careful. Like when they say use protection, usually it means in certain things that are down below. Not as in, oh, I don't know, have a mat down below the building so she doesn't fall and break her neck. One big thrust and, and it's game over for her. Good God, people are crazy. <laughs> but yeah, why did I have to use a garbage truck, a tow truck, and a bunch of shit we picked up off the streets when clearly Dickhead Steve could have allocated resources like this. I mean, it's so much easier. We could have orchestrated a huge raid in complete secrecy and not have to have killed, oh, I don't know, 200 police officers. But still, this is actually kind of fun. I can't get over the fact they're doing it on the roof. Like, why? Is that some thrilling way to do it? <laughs> Out of range. Oh, come on, seriously? There we go. Yeah. You're not come Chad. In, suspect not in the area. I repeat, suspect not found in the area. All right, oh, all wait. Right. No, they're fighting. It might be a couple blocks east of here. Roger that. Are they? I can't tell if they're fighting or they're doing other things. <laughs> oh, I mean, if they're fighting, they're doing a bad job of it. Break your neck already. Jesus. Okay, we have more targets down this way. See, if only I had this type of technology available for heists, it'd be so much easier. Now, who are you, Chad? Wrong suspect. Would you look at that couple? Finally, some normal, adjusted, healthy people in this horrible town. Oh, there's Chad. Come in, Franklin. We've got a positive ID on the suspect. I repeat, we have visual on Chad Mulligan. No vehicle in sight. All right, look, cool. We looking for his lockup, dog, all right? Stay on him and look out. Roger that. What's happening down there? Track Chad Mulligan to find uh, where he's parked his car. Okay. I'm surprised no one's a little suspicious there's a helicopter just floating, hovering above their head. We've got a dog there. Let me scan him. What type of offenses does he have? <gasps> He's a mastermind criminal dog? Are you kidding me? Oh, dropping FPS for some reason. Gotta love consoles. 
<laughs> yeah, you go get in your car, Chad. Oh, he's out of view. We have lost sight of the suspect. Might have to send Pilot Boy down to draw him out. Hold on, wait. He should come out from behind that building. Uh, I mean, I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Are you Chad? Yeah. Suspect Look at you, foot. you dirty little okay. speeder. I see the chop. I ain't far away. Oh, and is he out of sight again? He is. Imagine if he just disappeared off the face of the earth. Nope, he's there. Never mind. He suspects nothing. Just don't look up and find out there's a helicopter right above walking. your head. Suspect appears to be accessing a small garage. All right, all right, this is it. I'm gonna get the call. Oh, there's Franklin. This is hey, so cool. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's on the run. He's getting in the car. Get his ass, Franklin. Block him in. What happened? What? Hey, Is he driving an old ass car? Oh, look at him go. He's in a classic. Are you kidding me? You're seriously uh, going to try and. Going <laughs> south on Dutch Drive. Get his ass, Franklin. This guy's uh, driving an old ass car. Toward El ah, oh, there's no way you're getting away. Come on now. That old thing. It can't even probably go 30. Car going north on El Rancho. Oh, he's going through an alleyway. This guy really wants to get away. Jesus Christ. Copy Unit 3, we have reports of dangerous driving in your sector. Uh, well, this is Copper Unit 3. Reports are greatly exaggerated. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. nearly totaled the score. Oh, yeah, that was close. Trevor makes a very convincing police okay, officer. I see the motherfucker, man, I got this. Can we not just fire a rocket at his ass or something? I'm sure they have the technology. Damn, he is causing hella damage. Hey, you wanna hide, right? Suspect back on Del Perro heading west. <laughs> Get a move on, Franklin. He's getting away from you. Hey, where is he, man? Reckless driver sighted crossing Dorset Drive. Is he actually talking over the comms to the police? Suspect sighted near the Life Invader offices. You ooze so much sarcasm, I'm sure someone is going to catch on. Why does that officer sound so upset? He, he sounds like the type of guy that he would do a lot of mess. <laughs> down an alleyway. Hey, where this fucking asshole away? Suspect last seen near parking garage. Suggest ground team clear the building. Hey, buddy, lower our altitude so I can see in. Oh, there goes Franklin. Get him, Franklin. This guy's an idiot. He seriously just probably racked up $100,000 in fines trying to escape one armed person. I get violent when I'm queasy. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll keep her steady. He gets violent when he's queasy. Well, I guess you're always queasy then, huh? Maybe you have weak knees or an iron deficiency. All garage clear. Suspect is in the building. Really? Because I don't see him. Do you guys see him? Need some help here, fly boy. Where is he? Uh, you can toggle to thermal vision if you oh, think that would help. Oh, what the f- Well, you might have- Dude, this shit is cool! You know, I think I'm developing feelings for you. All He's not right. joking either. <laughs> oh, this might help. Hey, you can still see me, right? I'm in the middle of the garage. This is so cool! Roger, we have visual. Hey, take a look around. Is there another heat source? Yeah, multiple heat sources, in fact. This guy looks a little suspicious. What are you doing, homie? Del Perro, side of the lot. There's a man by a car. I'll check him out. There goes Franklin. It ain't Chad. This guy working on his whip. Oh! I thought he was man waving to someone. To my right. Who looks like he's on the phone? Fuck, dude could be calling the fans, homie. Nah, in Los Santos? Nah. What else You're good. You Okay, we have another guy over we got here. A guy standing over by a row of cars, middle of the floor. Well, let's see what the fuck he's doing. He's too calm. That's not Chad. No way. Hey, that ain't damn. You're the reason these places stink. Stank ass motherfucker. <laughs> oh wait, what's he doing? Is he pissing? 
Oh, I think he's taking a piss. Jesus Christ, my man. Okay, well, we're, we're out of targets. I don't see any other bodies anywhere. Oh, never mind. This guy's just chilling. Check Looks him out. Like a man leaning against a car to my left. I'm on. Yeah, he's chillaxing. That is not Chad. It's probably the guy on the furthest left. Nah. Dude's really creepy, but he ain't our creep. Hmm. Alright, last of target. The on my left, there's a man in a car. This better be him. This better be the guy. I could have checked that guy first. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Finn. I know you think this car might be worth something, but it ain't. He ain't got no resale. Zilch. They only made ten of these. You think anyone's gonna take it off your hands? It's too hot. Walk away, gangster. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours, man. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. I mean, that car's a bit flashy for my taste. Just really? take it and chill out. Be mellow. Relax. Be mellow. I'm just gonna get oh, out yeah. of your way. How about you jump off the side of this building and break both those legs, huh? How about that? Total Boom. dick. Total dick. Nah, fam, where are you going? Is that how you respond? Man, sit your ass down. You just caught a bullet, fool. What a dick. You're gonna tell a guy holding a gun on you that he's a dick? Are you kidding me? You're just ass gonna be shot. Okay, well, we have a collector car that's worth probably a lot of money. There's only 10 of them. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Thanks, hey, Molly. I'm living the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. <laughs> Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old oh. hanging Chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit, and I spared this motherfucker. Man, I should have capped his ass harder. I mean, I shot him in the back, but apparently that wasn't enough to deter him from reporting me to the police. Oh, I should have put one in his head. It's fine, though. Your boy's an expert driver. No, I'm not. I suck at driving, but still, I think I can get away by driving through this alleyway. Yeah, that's right. You can't chase me. I'm sorry, but if I was filthy rich, this would not be the type of car that I would try and collect. In fact, I don't even understand people that are wealthy and they buy cars that are almost unreasonably expensive. You can't even have fun in some of the cars that these rich people own. Like Ferraris, Lambos, Porsches, I get that, but when you start going up to like multi-million dollar supercars and collector cars like this, I mean, there's just, I don't know, there's no point. I mean, at that point, you're essentially owning a statue, a museum piece, and what's the fun in that? If you can't take your car out and ride it, or drive around in it, have fun in it, cruise, go around the city, then uh, really it's not even a car now, is it? Okay, we have 1.62 miles to go. Don't you crash in me, I will so shoot you. Yeah, if you're gonna have a car that's worth a lot of money, you have to enjoy it. The only way to enjoy a car is to drive around in it. Some of these people buy their cars, leave it in a garage for a couple years, and then on special occasions, they break out their multi-million dollar car and drive two feet as I crash into a fire hydrant. I probably shouldn't be talking about cars because I know absolutely nothing. <laughs> I can't even drive. Okay, I'm gonna drive to the objective and, uh, well, I say drive, more like crash, and I'll be right back. Okay, and here we are at the airport. So what, this guy's gonna load up a car inside of an aircraft? Or do you just wanna look at it before you fly out of the country? Oh, there she is. <laughs> You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. I don't like this oh, guy's wow, attitude man, one little bit. You one of bit. type of dudes, huh? I'll tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For nah. real. Like nah. this? 
or this. Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity, I'm security, I'm fast cars, blow jobs, I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man, I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go. What? Say what? Wait, what? Take any car I want and go. Uh, does that mean I get, I get a choice? Oh, these are piles of shit. Are you serious? Thought she was talking about some nice ass supercar or something. You guys are pathetic. You know that? And uh, his little speech about uh, not trusting those two because they're a full core meltdown like it's Chernobyl or something. What you don't understand is that even though they may be a bit weird, unorthodox, old and retired, they value friendship. Okay, maybe not Trevor, but definitely Michael. I mean, for God's sake, I went to try and steal something from him and we became best friends and he got me a job. So I'm not gonna stab him in the back for a little bit of extra cash now. Besides, you don't even pay. And you look like the type of guy that would stab someone in the back and not even bat an eye. Okay, mission passed. I, I in the sky. <laughs> Who are you going to take out? <laughs> and that's why crime is rampant in Los Santos. The officers are just stormtroopers. That, that's all they are. They're completely stupid. They just crashed their car, got out, and now they're walking away. All right, so I need to find a better car. That other one is just a pile of shit, and Devin gave it to me. So uh, I think I would rather drive an airport shuttle than something that he gave me as a gift. Or maybe it wasn't even a gift. Maybe he wanted me to borrow it. Either way, I'm not taking his pile of shit car. If it's not a supercar, I don't want it. And um, now it's time for us to go do a little job for Lester. Good old Mo Lester. And this one's called assassination, so I'm guessing somebody needs to die. My two favorite things in life, killing people and making money. Also, just a side note, I hate every character in this game, including Devin. He's a piece of shit. The only characters I don't hate are obviously the three main characters, Michael, Trevor, and Franklin, but uh, I also like Lamar. He's a weird guy that's kind of stupid, but he's really funny, so I like him. Either way, though, I'm gonna drive to Molester Lester and uh, maybe make some money. <laughs> At least I better make money. I'm tired of doing things for nothing. Also, it's gonna take me 100 years to drive there in this shuttle. So I'll be right back. All right, all right, Lesty baby, what you got for me? Yes, I have a police car now. I thought it might help me blend in. Whoop, whoop! You're arrested for being fat. Hop in the car now and you won't be shot. It's not gonna work. Alrighty. Let's go see what Lester has for us. Oh shit. Hey, what up man? Yeah, lay that beat on me, come on. You didn't know this, but um, at one point I was gonna be a big rapper. Huge star, successful. Then I found out I'm tone deaf and I actually can't rap, but yeah, what's good man? I like the drums, are, there, are those bongos? No, I don't know what the hell that is, but you're getting a broken face. That's right. Give me your money, bitch. I'm the police. I'm the thug police. That's right. Oh, shit. That guy's recording me. All right, I'm going to end up on Facebook somewhere. Oh, it's a payphone. Of course, Lester doesn't want to talk face to face. Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. Did I understand that correctly? We're going to go pick up a sex worker. <laughs> there it is. Watch the prostitute. 
Uh, I love Grand Theft Auto. Name any other game where you can disobey all the laws, kill people, steal money, be a thug, and most importantly, watch prostitutes and beat up old bongo playing guys and get away with it. Video games are bad. This is why kids are turning out to be so horrible. That's why all the shootings are happening. It's what idiots actually say. Well, more specifically, people that don't play video games, they always blame video games as if your mental health can completely be correlated with the games you play, right? No, yes. I played GTA once and I decided to become a thug and murder everyone in my family. I wonder why all that was happening before video games though. Hmm. I'm sorry, I detest people that blame video games or music or movies for how bad people can be. It's honestly silly. Either way though, I am playing a game where I get to go watch a prostitute. Oh, I love it so much. Wait a minute, I just realized, perhaps trying to stalk a prostitute in a police patrol car is not the best of ideas. Maybe hey, she's that dumb. must be my girl. And won't notice. Beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Okay, that's her. The prostitute will enter the target's car, watch the vehicle that she enters, and kill the driver? Nah, shit, I'll blast him with my sirens. Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. Drop your panties and bend over. I, I mean, get in the police car. Is that our target? Hey, what up, girl? You won't get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. Hmm. This is a weird place to be a sex worker. In the uh, industrial region, I guess. Like, what? what? <laughs> Frigid. Ice storage. There's a lot of lonely people that come to the frigid ice storage facility to get some. I thought most of these people, sex workers, prostitutes, would be like downtown where all the shops are, not here. Oh, this guy's real seedy. That's our man. Hey, baby, what can I get for 10 bucks? You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. Damn, 10 bucks? You couldn't even like touch it for a second? Maybe spit on it? I don't know, 10 bucks is something. <laughs> he actually tried that. Hey baby. Oh, that's our guy. You miss me? I was starting to think you weren't coming. Oh, I always come. Oh, we got him now. Whoop, whoop. I'm the police, motherfucker, pull over. There will be no sexual exchanging of favors as long as I'm in. This car, okay, this guy's actually shooting. Man, get your ass out of that car. Come here, come here, son. You really wanna try that? You really wanna try that? Oh, damn, this is like Trevor's meth vision. Only slower, I think. Or maybe less drugs involved. I can't see where the reticle is, and I died. Are you kidding me? Franklin, you got outgunned by an idiot. Oh, I know, I got outgunned because I'm the one that plays this game. Ooh, that was bad. That was real bad. And I have to wait for the guy to pull up again. Oh my God. Maybe I can just pull her over now. Whoop, whoop, bitch. Get in. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, here he comes. Well, not comes. So I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. But still, here he approaches. Is that him? Yep, that's him. You miss me? I was starting to think you weren't coming. Excuse me, sir. You know But paying for sex is illegal. You can buy a lot of things with money, but buying sex is off the table. You know what I'm saying? Oh wait, I'm not even after the girl? I just wanted to kill the dude? What? Uh, okay. I thought I was like trying to get the girl for some reason. Mm. Uh, excuse me, now that you know I'm a criminal, would you like to get that fat ass in here? Yeah? I mean, I'll probably get every disease on earth just being in the same area as you, but I mean, it's worth it. No, it's not, I'm just joking, I'm lonely. All right, let's drive out of here and try and lose the cops. Well, damn, we capped his ass before he had any fun. That's that's not nice. If you're gonna kill a guy, at least let him have a little pleasure. That's why they have last meals. Oh, you're about to be executed for a crime in the state pen, or I guess they call it death row. You get a last meal. He should have had his last meal, know what I'm saying? Or his last pleasure or anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll be right back. Oh, and I've lost the cops. I don't know why they're mad. I did them a service. I killed the guy that was trying to buy sex. Hey man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. Yes, you will. Okay, mission passed. 
the vice assassination. Well, that wasn't too hard. I mean, it would have been more fun if I killed him in a clever way. $3,000? Are you kidding me? For ending a human life? $3,000? $3,000. Oh my God. Lester, you don't pay so well. I mean, I can't complain. At least I'm getting money, but I mean, $3,000 for ending a human life? Maybe add a zero to it and I wouldn't be so upset. Although he did hook me up with a pretty sweet pad, so I guess I can't really complain all that much. Okay, um, we did the job for Lester. Oh wait, we have another job? An another assassination, okay. It looks like today I'm not Franklin the thug, I'm Franklin the assassin. Alrighty, well, I am going to drive to Lester and uh, actually, no I'm not. I was about to say I'm gonna to drive to Lester, but instead I think I'm gonna to fly to him. Yeah, what's up? I'm an assassin. You really don't wanna challenge me on this one, okay? I'm just gonna borrow this bird and uh, take it to a place and um, listen to a phone call on a payphone and uh, I'll bring it right back, I promise. It'll be in better condition than when you had it. In fact, I'll take it through a car wash. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'll do it. Too much talking? Yeah, too much talking. I have a feeling someday I'm gonna be one of those old men that just constantly talk about nothing just because I like the sound of my own voice. Mainly because I don't ever have anyone else to talk to. They never talk to me, man. <laughs> Let me just land this right here in the middle of the street. There we go. <laughs> Perfect landing. Okay, Lester, I'm ready to pick up a payphone. You know, you could hook me up with a secure line. That way I don't have to keep constantly running to random payphones. In fact, why do they even have payphones? Didn't this shit die out in like 2005 so who the fuck or something? Don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. <laughs> so, really, Lester's gig is just killing people that are in, I don't know, important positions in a company, and then when the stock falls through, he pretty much benefits by, I don't know, investing in the competition. Right, so you're really not doing this for good reasons at all. I mean, you pretend to, but it's actually all about the money. And I'm gonna need to borrow this car. Yeah, get on, get on out of there. And get your boyfriend out too. Go on, man, get out. Get out. I got places to be and people to kill, God damn it. Okay, here we are. Did somebody order Uber? <laughs> oh wait, oh, am I driving a bus? I'm also in a different car. I have this weird urge to steal every cool looking car I see. It might be a problem. It probably is though. Uh, okay, so I am definitely driving a bus. Right, so I'm gonna pick up a guy with a bus. There seems to be, oh, I don't know, easier ways of dealing with people you don't like. Why do I have to pretend to be a bus driver? I'm not very good with buses, unless of course we're talking about crashing something like a bus into a wall and then making it go boom. I mean, I'm good with that. It's not the same type of job. Oh shit. Safely transporting people from point A to point B. Yawn, that is boring. And they're going to let me just get in. Right, new uniform, a beater and sweats, a new company policy, only professionalism here. Okay, so we have our first stop up here. Hey, get out of the way, I'm a bus driver, goddammit, I'm like the police. You see me, you pull over. It's not true. Honk honk, all aboard the Franklin Express. It's my first day on the job, welcome, hey, sorry welcome. sorry I'm late, it's my first day on the job. Are you copying me? Please make yourselves comfortable. If you feel like defecating, do it in the corner, and only half the seats are covered in vomit. Watch out for hypodermic needles. There's a couple back there. You might get AIDS. The joys of riding public transportation. And as a bus driver, I don't have to stop for red lights. That's not true? Oh. Well, I can definitely drive on the sidewalks. I'm pretty sure that's a law, right? No? <laughs> oh, stop panicking. It's a bus. You have to expect it. Oh, come on, I'm not that bad. There's been worse. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Yeah, smile, goddammit. No smiles, this bus ain't moving. That's right, I will hold the bus up. You will be late to your meeting at the crack house. Or whorehouse, or wherever these people are going. Okay, so we have picked up two people. 
and I'm looking for a specific target. How am I gonna kill this guy as a bus driver with a bus full of passengers? Again, not the smartest way to take a guy out. Is that him? Hey, get in, we are running late. Okay, that's not him. You would think you would be the safest in a bus full of people, right? Amongst a crowd, but uh, <laughs> I guess we're gonna try and kill this guy with a bus full of people and a bus full of witnesses. Unless, of course, I drive the bus off into the river <gasps> and then swim away. That might work. I just need to lock the door on the way out. That is messed up, holy shit. But it would work. You have to use your brain when you're a criminal. And sometimes there's casualties. All aboard! Shirts are required to ride the bus, unfortunately. Well, you're late, late, late. That'd be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Fair hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Uh, well, oh, he's stealing a bike! Blame it on the city! Assassinate the target. Oh, yeah, let me just get up to full speed on a bus. Oh, this Attention bad boy's fast. Please hold on to your fucking seats. Stop the bus, you maniac! Oh, hey, why are you, you crying? Ride, oh, bitch! Shit, you know how it is. Hey, he dead. He is dead dead. Leave the area. I am so sorry. This is all part of the public transportation system. Sometimes you have good days, and sometimes you accidentally murder a man on a bike. I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. Oh, -ho. well, that was a fun job. I actually murdered a man in broad daylight with the crowd watching. What a spectacle. That's something the Joker would do, 100%. The Joker from Batman, that's something he would try. Or Trevor, but definitely not Franklin. That's not my style. Franklin likes to do things with finesse, and that was not finesse. Uh, hey, what's up, man? Oh, calling Molester Lester. Ah! Green light, She's good. Gone. Okay, that's not what I meant. That's the old guy that was working on the- Oh, I remember you from the last mission, old man! Get your nose cracked. Mission passed. The bus assassination. Well, that was fun. Lose the cops. Okay, well listen, I am just a taxi cab driver that happens to have an Uzi in his right hand. Normal stuff for Los Santos, to be sure. That was the sloppiest job ever. Why bother killing a guy? in a bus full of people. We could have found a stealthier way to do that. Huh? You have got to be kidding me. <gasps> oh, that was so close. He almost saw me. <laughs> the bus assassination passed. Job well done, $7,000. You have got to be kidding me. $7,000 for me exposing my face and murdering a man in broad daylight on a busy street with a bus full of witnesses. Then again, I have murdered like 20 people in a drug deal at, with Lamar and made no up. money, Who so. Wants it? First come, first serve. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, it's the radio. Taxi job offered. Uh, okay, let's accept. I got it. What? You can be a taxi cab Copy driver? That. You should only be a block or two away. Right, I'm on it, homie. Yeah. I'm a taxi cab driver. Nothing to see here. Definitely not a thug or a criminal that assassinated two people in one day with a ton of witnesses. No. Hi, what's up? Yeah, hop in. Where are you going? Cool. Let's go. Let's go. I may have to make a detour to the bank and I'm going to hold a gun to your head and you're going to withdraw all the money and give it to me. Is that acceptable? It's not. Well, too bad. It's going to happen. If only that was an option in GTA. <laughs> I can't believe you can actually taxi people around. This is awesome. GTA is probably one of the most thorough games I've ever played. They have so many little details in it. I love it. And here we are, sir. That'll be $250,000. Haha, fuck you, buster. Oh, no, fuck you, bitch. Bring me my money. Come here. Oh, I'm, no, I'm not killing an animal. Trouble. Seriously? $130. $130. <laughs> no! My knees! I need those! Nah, you ain't getting away, homie! <laughs> Nobody does that! You can't skip paying me! Okay, well... <laughs> Did he die? He can run, though. 
He's got some feet. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it off there. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, next time we'll drop in on Trev and see what he's doing, but uh, yeah, overall, really fun episode, lots of killing, and not really too much money making, but hopefully soon that'll change. Anyway, until next time, peace out.